Hey there, everyone. It is Mr. Campbell, and uh, going to do something fun today. I've got a uh, a slideshow of history memes that <laughs> my students have put together for me, and they want me to react to these history memes. I've so I'm going to go through and just react to these memes. I've not seen them before. I do not know what I'm about to see. I don't know whether they're going to be funny or cringy or somewhere in between. So I guess we're just going to get started. That moment when you're about to join the revolution. And you realize you promised to take the kids. <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly what that looks like. He's like, he's like, I was about to go protesting, but I promised I'd take your kids to the park. You promised, Pierre. The kids are waiting for you. King George the Third, after reading the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> I think this would be funnier to me if I knew what movie this was, but I don't. <laughs> so, this is a joke, right? Rare photo of Lincoln delivering the Gettysburg address. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. That is so bad. Nazi Germany, Soviet Union, and Poland. <laughs> I saw this meme a few years ago, and I loved it. And I got this idea that there should be an entire history book that tells history just through cat memes. And I was like, this would be brilliant. I would make a billion dollars with a cat meme history book. But I couldn't find any other ones as good as this one. Oh my gosh, this is great. <laughs> I love his expression in the middle. <laughs> Poland reposing in the loving embrace of Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union. If Germany is the fatherland and Russia is the motherland, then World War II was just a brutal divorce. <laughs> Who's the child land? I guess Poland, France, and Britain. The U.S. would be child services. Japan would be some weird uncle who picks a fight with them. Italy would be the crackhead aunt who thinks she's helping. And the Swiss would be the neighbors who pretend they don't hear anything every night. Now, that's very clever. Thomas Jefferson trying to negotiate the Louisiana purchase from the French ancient oh, three. I have three dollars. <laughs> Isn't that right? Didn't he buy it for some like a million dollars or something ridiculously cheap or something? Historian. Oh, this is good. My friends think I do. My mom thinks I do. What society thinks I do. University. What I think I do. What I actually do. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty right. I mean, my house is a little bit more organized than this. But um, yeah. Any salad can be a Caesar salad if you stab it enough. Oh, this is clever. <laughs> Oh, they have these Julius Caesar knife holders where it's like a statue of Caesar and you put your knives into it. <laughs> Archaeology is a useless field of study. Oh, really? Then explain this ceramic sculpture of early skateboarding dog. <laughs> <laughs> From Jess at Mike's Wagowski. <laughs> This chart makes so much sense. Sky, sunny side of the pyramid. <laughs> oh, I, I like that. I'm going to have to save that one. Caesar breathes. Cato the Younger, the only option is murder. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you accidentally burn one of these? Toast, your finger, the turkey, the ancient library of Alexandria. Oh, my gosh. I was just listening to a podcast about all the knowledge that was lost when the library of Alexandria was burned. Although, I don't think it was burned accidentally. If I recall, the Muslims under Caliph Omar burned it quite intentionally. Either that or they say it was burnt during the civil wars uh, between Caesar and Pompey. I'm not sure. When the average 14-year-old watches an oversimplified video and then goes to history class, you know I'm something of a historian myself. <laughs> All my my 14-year-old HSC students who fancy themselves knowledgeable about uh, ancient Rome or something. 
<laughs> French history, French history of England didn't exist. <laughs> oh man, that is so true. England color, America color, humor, humor, flavor, flavor. England, what are you doing? America getting rid of you. Oh, that's cringy. I get it, though. I get it. Not funny, that one. Nobody. English people's last words in the 1300s. Oh, a rat. <laughs> Is this a Black Death joke? Is this a death joke about the Black Plague? <laughs> Time traveler, where am I? Germany. German in Germany in the world of war. World War One or two. German, which one do we win? <laughs> you are a woman living in the 1600s and you accidentally do math. The townsfolk. <laughs> burn the witch. <laughs> they didn't burn witches that easily, guys, but funny. King dies, his eldest son. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> yep, that's about how it is. Me has minor injury on leg. Medieval doctor with a saw. Sorry, man, but it's got to go. <laughs> yeah, this is just medieval. Right up to the Civil War, they're doing that stuff. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Glad my room is to the left. For some reason, the right side of this hotel floor doesn't sound as peaceful. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Only history people that know dates are going to get that. When you're out after having fun with your friends, but remember that the burning of the Library of Alexandria probably set humanity back at least a thousand years. <laughs> yes, it still makes us sad to think about. Switzerland during both world wars. <laughs> In their paintings, the forefathers all look like the painter was telling them bad jokes the whole time. <laughs> he probably was. It's like, remember when you're a kid and you go to get your picture taken and the, the person's like, ah, la, 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 oh, 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 oh. And they're trying to make the kids laugh and the kids are just like, that's probably what was going on here. Vladimir Lenin invites a young worker into the Bolshevik party in 1917. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I guess that is it. <laughs> that was good, guys. I enjoyed that. If you want to see me react to more history memes, uh, we'll do another one. I love this. This is great. Thanks, everyone.